to fight. It's gonna begin. Here we go. As uh, it's gonna be radar, radar and Bremen, and uh, fight. Teresa gonna have it all to do if they were to win one of these maps. It didn't, wouldn't matter if they were to draw or win. They would become second. Oh, I think if they won, they'd actually come first. But if they drew, they, if they get one map, they're guaranteed second place. As a pause is going to come in early on in the in the game, allies are going to be able to pause it out. But they've given away their 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 push, big big six man push coming towards main. And the Germans, this is going to benefit them if if nobody else. As uh, we have trick jump connecting to the server strangely. So here comes the main push for a race, a big six-man push. They've got us, us an air strike to deal with on this um, left-hand side. Doesn't actually have managed to hit them. I'm gonna see actually Vaza respawn into put on a little bit of pressure towards side. Maybe it looks like maybe they're gonna switch it across. Uh, a couple of the race players coming across towards side. They are gonna get some frags, but the frags are coming in for the uh, Comrade team as well. With a uh, big flank coming towards me. Cresty is going to be able to pick up that pistol kill and you see three, two or three of the allies managing to make it towards side. Tony is going to have uh, that dynamite ready to place down and uh, he is actually going to get killed. I'm not sure what killed him. I guess <laughs> Flop G's in position with that grenade. It's going to pick up this kill again but uh, not going to be able to continue that little spree. Gonna try and ping a couple of rifle shots off. It's not gonna happen. Five ball is in position to try and uh, clear it out, and they are gonna be able to get this defuse on side. Big five-man push from the Germans is gonna help that happen. But I think they've uh, they haven't actually lost the flag. We had a couple of guys spawn back, Cresty, and uh, and another another medic. I think spawn back just in case the side was gonna blow. Sitting like that's a, that's a safety maneuver. As you can see, there's gonna be Cresty and Stonehenge pushing towards side. They're going to be able to shut down this next push of the allies potentially as they think they've taken down a couple of players and you're going to see Cresty and Stonehenge push through this upper area. Uh, double kill comes in for Stonehenge. He's going to shut down two guys on that side and we're going to see Essay now moving across to try and get that plant down. It's already been uh, pretty well defended for a couple of minutes. Stonehenge going very aggressive. He's got nowhere to run though. Two allies coming towards him. He is going to be able to get that frag down. And another one. Brilliant stuff from Stonehenge here outside. He's going to be able to pick up five kills. And uh, that's going to be a, a nice shutdown from him. As uh, the allies still haven't managed to, to secure that plant on side. Or get the flag. Or get main plant. So Axis in full control. As to see him set up on the, on the side wall here. Artillery has gone down. But uh, they need to fall back. It's a pretty poor artillery from Kresty. And uh, he didn't need to do an artillery that that, that, um, that defensive. Could have gone uh, a much more aggressive artillery. You're going to see the flag get picked up by a race, and they're going to respawn back in. The main plant is going to go down. Player is going to respawn as that engineer. Here comes the main plant for allies. As uh, Dynamite off to a, a fairly slow start, a race. The Germans done a good job of just uh, delaying them heavily um, around side and main. You see a couple of German players going towards side. They haven't even got this plant down yet. Dynamite this isn't even going to be a problem. They have got a suit though. And they're maybe going <laughs> to... They had a suit. They had a suit. Bozza literally just got deleted by uh, that landmine. That was really unfortunate. You just see Eugen turn around to see his uh, friend disappear. As, uh, the next push is going to come on towards side. It looks like SA's got the... The Panzer, I'm going to pick him up, see if he manages to get a shot in. He didn't have much luck on uh, Frostbite for large periods of the attack. But they're not going to let him shoot first. Uh, SA is going to wait until at the end, it would seem. He's going to risk it on the artillery, maybe. No, he's not. He's going to wait back. He's going to see Tony in that upper area. He might get hit by this artillery if he's careful. Uh, SA definitely is. He obviously can't, can't count to four there. As uh, he runs in on that last blast. And at the moment, Comran setting up a pretty strong defense here at the side as well. I'm going to try and pick up Flop G's the rifle grenade here. He's going to have uh, Tony to deal with. I'll pick up that kill with the grenade. Uh, nice spam by, uh, by Flop G's. Anyone who tried to dive in would be uh, literally uh, 
dead as Cresty's artillery comes down and finishes off uh, two of the remaining erase players. Again, SA not managing to count out those artillery strikes. Big push coming towards main for erase. They've got uh, one player to deal with on the left hand side. They aren't going to be able to take him out, but Stray picks up that double kill. Flopgy's picked up a double kill as well. The rifle grenade, long range. Maybe Stray's going to be able to pick up more as uh, the main push is shut down from a race. Maybe they're going to be able to try and pile it on once more. Uh, they've decided to rotate again towards side. You can see Fireball heavily pushed out. Going to get off early grenade. Does manage to pick up one. He's going to be able to get that delivered gib. Eugene, uh, hand delivered gib. As uh, the rifle grenade comes in, Cresty's going to pick up a big double grenade at the front of uh, CB. Buzzer's going to put on a lot of damage towards Stonish, but he's going to get shut down by Fireball. And I think Stonish, last man alive in the CP area, is going to have Tony's to deal with. Uh, he's going to go very aggressive. Nice play by him, but he's going to take a, a, a shed loads of damage as uh, Flop G's has managed to make it towards CP. He does manage to pick up the uh, the damage onto the, the Kobe there. And I think Stonish just managed to finish him off. No revive. Oh, the revive does come in for the Kobe. The, the CP is going to be in allied hands very soon. And they're going to be able to secure that forward spawn. As uh, Axis are going over aggressive just before their respawn. Nice artillery from Cresty. Might actually catch them out on this respawn. As you see, uh, Tony's not willing to, to risk that as they're going to get some shots down from Fake. And uh, the Comrade team playing pretty well so far. Erase uh, not really getting things going just yet as a team. And uh, group stage um, progression is now confirmed as 100%. Um, for a race for every team, TMOE, Erase, and uh, and Comran are all going to qualify. It's just where they're going to qualify. What position, as you see, they're going to get east away through towards uh, towards the CP. They're going to be able to pick up west as well. Vank got uh, insta give though by that mine, the standard mine in that position. Uh, I think there's one more player up there. It was uh, it was Bozza, and uh, he's not going to risk the, the grab just yet. He might be able to to get that um, just before their next respawn. No, Stonehenge has spied him. That's going to be a kill coming in. Double kill coming in for Cresty as well. And uh, the, the east parts have been secured. They're in the back of the truck. So it's going to be a five, just over five minute attack of these west parts for the uh, for the allied team. And uh, at the moment, Comran holding on. Not too much, not, not too much uh, pressure on these guys at the moment. They know they can't really... Uh, they can't do too badly. Uh, they only have to win one map of the next two, and they're guaranteed a top um, place in the group. And uh, I remember they're doing a really good job. We're going to pick up Vank for a race. He's going to be pushing through the spawn with his team. They have taken over this back spawn. He's going to force the Axis to just all spawn at the, the side house. Presti's going to go aggressive. He is taken down by, by Vank there. Double. Kills coming in for Stone Age and Fireball picking up frags, but SA is going to be able to move on to the objective. That he's going to have to dodge a team airstrike here as uh, he is taken down by, uh, by Blade at the objective. But I think one person is going to be able to grab that. Uh, I, think it's, I think it is Vank. He managed, oh, he just didn't manage to uh, dodge that, that uh, landmine, unfortunately. As we see Eugen jump across and fail the jump as well. So we're going to see SA on his. Uh, Another one, is, another one of his sneaks. Another one of his sneaks. I don't think it's going to happen at that mine. Let's see what that mine is. That's an anti SA mine. There we go. Gonna take a load of damage. He's going to get shut down by Stray. And at the moment, Comran not doing too badly. 3 minutes and 40 seconds remaining in this game. Uh, oh, in, in this radar uh, map for the erase guys to just try and set a time. It looks like uh, a full hold is very much on the cards. Uh, race really struggling to get things going at the moment. We're watching, we're watching a uh, blade at these west parts. Uh, the race guys are starting to move around the back of west. Uh, airstrike has gone down. It has cleared out a couple of the players. They have got a few players on this back spawn. Been distracted by their own teammates though, Vank looking up towards that door. It is actually a teammate there. Flock G's double kill with that MP40. Uh, Cresty's taking quite a lot of damage though. He's not shooting as well as he was yesterday. He is uh, 
going to be a, a, a bit a bit smashed, going to be honest. He's not had that much sleep, no doubt, as uh, he's going to be well rested for the playoffs tomorrow, though. No excuses there. Trying to repeat his performance of yesterday, which was quite, quite marvellous. Easily, easily, by an absolute mile, that the MVP of that 3 on 3 tournament. As you see, uh, Barza pushing from this back spawn. He's going to be able to take down Fireball. He has one or two Axis players to deal with as well. Around the lower stairs on the other side of the spawn, they're going to be able to maybe spawn back in at this back spawn. They have actually decided who to spawn in at the at the house here. And, and a race aren't really taking that much advantage of this. When you're spawning at that house, mass group artillery is going to be really, really strong. Uh, but they're not really doing anything. Not really getting their attack going. A race don't even look to be attacking with six at the moment. You don't know what's happening with their team. Uh, this is uh, not the greatest of performances here on, on radar. As, uh, it's pretty, pretty much going to be their last chance. This, uh, this setup here from these guys at the back spawn. Uh, Fireball is taken down by SA. They have three guys in the back spawn at the moment. One more player to deal with. It's going to be Cresty pushing quite aggressive. Does manage to take down player. And uh, Eugen is in position to shoot Cresty in the back, but he's trying to back off. They do know he's here, though. And uh, they're going to hunt him down. He's going to take damage through the tree. Does get on a double headshot towards Cresty, but time is running out for a race. Double kill comes in for player. The uh, players are rotating around towards this West Pass. Nice Luger frag. Uh, Cresty actually picks up the, the last bit of that damage. As I think it's a two man defense, it's, it's going to be Fireball and uh, Stray of Fireball and Blade. Last two men alive at these west parts. Double frag uh, coming in for, for Blade, but Fireball is going to be able to keep that, that, that Luger accuracy going. Bank has picked up the objective, but has been, uh, has been instantly killed again by Landmine. As we see a pause coming in for the allies in the last 35 seconds. As, uh, to fight. Well, yeah, the objective just sits here. The objective just sits here. I don't see any erase players in the vicinity, though. I don't think they're going to be able to pick this up. I think that's going to be it. A definite, almost definite full hold for a Comran. And it was on the cards. They were playing so well at the beginning of this game. It took, I mean, it took three minutes, four minutes for the uh, plants to even go down um, for erase. And the delay tactics of uh, Comran was very strong as you see straight in that objective return. It's definitely going to be a full hold. Uh, double artillery for it comes down from Blade at that main area. And uh, full hold is going to come in. Fox G's whips out that mobile MG2. M M MG42. As uh, I'm going to actually take down a teammate there. Just for just for the lols. Just an annihilated uh, stone edge. Uh, we're going to bring up the scores. And we see 24 frags coming in for... Flop G's and Cresty. Flop Cresty, although I don't think he was playing at the same sort of level that he was yesterday, still picks up a lot of damage, a lot of kills. 4k damage coming in for him. Uh, the reply buzzer got 3k. Player got 2.9, but it's not going to be enough for a race. They're going to get full hold, full held here on radar. And this is uh, the first map, of course, of this uh, last game of the Group A. Group A shaping up to be... Uh, we had a brilliant first game. The second game was good as well. Gold Rush was intense. Uh, we're going to have uh, Bremen after this, of course. Radar. First map needs to finish. Got the attack coming in. Right now. From... Uh, from uh, Comran. See how fast they can get out of the blocks. Uh, if they can continue what they did against uh, TMOE, could see a very fast time. Were, like, as I say, they were rampant in that game. They got off to an amazing start. They're gonna a bit of a split push. A couple going inside, a couple going main. It's like quite a big main push. They've gone for that Cresty um, Kobe as well. Got that suit in in hand as a. Uh, uh, he hasn't got the suit just yet. He's going to be able to pick up. I think he uh, think, didn't realise that there was actually a suit available there. SA picks up that frag on the respawn. 
they're going to have quite a few guys to deal with. A main Panzer threat comes in from SA, and you could have waited for more perhaps as uh, Comrade do start picking up a bunch of the frags in the flag area. I uh, see him pushing for, towards the flag, Stoneage is taken down, uh, but the, the landmine kill does come in, but I think one guy has made it through the, the main door, and it is going to be Fireball. And uh, he's going to make it all the way around to this uh, this tank depot. We've seen him do pretty much the identical before, where he just goes to the tank depot and then goes and takes main. And the Axis have zero idea this has happened. Look at this. They have no idea. Dynamite planted. Uh, Eugen seems to th maybe think, no, he doesn't know. As uh, we destroyed the Fireball is still in position. The radar components. In, uh, well, I've got no idea where he's gone now. Where is he going? Maybe, maybe sneaking around the back already. I've got no idea where he went. As uh, he's a, uh, he scoozied me. I don't know. I've got no idea. Let's try and pick him up. As I see, he's actually at the back spawn for Axis. He's gonna wait for a bit of freedom. Gives him a good lean spot. In this, in the meantime, the uh, the uh, rest of his team are gonna be able to pick up. Um, so a couple of objectives at the uh, at the main and side area. Respawn does come in. He can hear footsteps below his feet. As uh, Fireball is gonna spot Eugen here. I don't think he's gonna try and hold back on the MP40. We're gonna pick up some of the action. The CP has been taken over by by Stoneage. Uh, the push is coming in from the Axis. They're five seconds on their respawn. And we're probably gonna see Fireball move in towards those documents yeah, very soon. Um, I'm not sure if main plant has actually gone down. It has actually gone down, and it's been blown as well. Uh, Doctor is pushing through main. If they manage to take down SA here at main, they could see a push. They need to do that big main push. That's what they need to do. Overload main, and then Fireball can just flank in from behind. And, uh, CP is actually in Axis hands now. I think Fireball is still still lurking around their back spawn. Um, as the objective has been taken, uh, Fireball pushing towards main, big main push from the rest of his team, and they're going to be able to secure West Parts, and we saw that, we saw how that built up, that was Fireball just uh, timing that run to perfection, great stuff from Fireball, and now they've got to defend East, East for 9 minutes, you just heard it when it was grabbed, the person at Fate just thought, okay that's, that's East, read that it was West, and just was like... Instantly, it was fear. As you saw, the objective get taken, these East Parts getting run away, Flop G is going towards the, the CP, and uh, a full hold came in um, for for uh, Comran on their defence. So, uh, we're probably going to see a map win, if I'm honest. Uh, they've got objective in hand, Flop G's is bouncing towards the CP area. The truck is uh, slightly open for Axis, they are being able to move in. That defense uh, set up. Uh, it looks like Comrade are indeed going to be able to get this map win. I'm going to try and switch it around. Flop G's comes back to a revive. Interesting. Uh, he, 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 just because he could. Just because he could. So that's going to be a first map win. I'm going to update the scores on the screen. I'll uh, give you the stats as well. Check out those stats on the screen. It looks uh, very one-sided in this game. This didn't really have much of a, of a defense, though, so it's going to be pretty skewed in terms of the overall round stats. And uh, the scores are updated on the screen. We're going to see Blade pick up 28 frags, 5.3k damage coming out on top for his team. Uh, so gonna have Cresty do the same but the big reply from Axis was SA and uh, that's not gonna be enough for the erase guys uh, they didn't they didn't do enough there the defense uh, didn't hold off very long I didn't see what time was set but it was uh, it was very quick it was around the four or five minute mark um, and, uh, was all due to that sneak you saw five managed to get through main that nearly got killed by that mine um, they didn't they didn't check it out um, obviously the, the potential that he, they would have got through main um, once that mine went off. So here on Bremen, and a racer 
they win this map, they're guaranteed second place in the group. If not, they don't, like I said, it doesn't make too much difference. If not, I think they probably slip down into third in terms of performance, I'd say. They're getting full health. Um, something that TMOE didn't. And, uh, we're getting the smoke break request. This is definitely the last map of the group stage, so hopefully they don't smoke break. That would be, uh, that would be a bit much. I want to see a quick map, because if this finishes in 15 minutes, we are 100% on schedule. 100% done. This game uh, had an hour scheduled for it, and that obviously finishes in 15 minutes. Playing on one more player to ready up. Comrade have got the lead, they can't lose this. They are guaranteed first place in the group, which is uh, pretty good for them. And here comes the, the ready up. It's going to be um, a race on attack. Comrade on defense. Seeing Comrade defend first once Fight. again. The strikes go off on this first stage. No kills coming in just yet with those air strikes. Flopgies does pick up one. Race again, not, not having too much of a presence in this early stage of the map. They are starting to pick up some frags, making some um, good ground in this lower area of the of the uh, um, ruins. That could be a good airstrike for the player. Um, it's just unfortunate that a lot of the players sat at that flag area. Otherwise, I think he would have got quite lucky. We'll see what happens with uh, the rest of the push. Tully's going to get off this rifle grenade, not going to be able to get any damage onto a uh, medic there. I'm going to try and get off a second one, not going to happen either. There's a lot of kills coming in for um, the Comrade team. He's got SA trying to get away with that suit. It's not going to happen for him either. And the race needs to just uh, concentrate on pushing as a team. No, no sneaky business. Uh, the sneaky business does uh, slow him down just a little bit. Fireball picking up a double kill on this uh, left-hand side. Going very aggressive, picking up the third as well. He's going to try and get a nade onto their respawn. He does get it off. But he's taking a little bit of damage. He's been shot by a teammate there. As uh, Stonehenge has stayed alive. He's uh, risking fall here on, on middle. Drop down. And, uh, all, all safe now. Big push from a race coming through the middle of the... Uh, through the middle of the ruins. Buzzer sort of... Uh, just uh, I think a bit, little bit frustrated maybe there. Eugen manages to make it up onto the roof. Above arches does get taken down. And uh, this first stage from uh, this first stage from Comran looking very strong. Already defended for two minutes. As uh, time drains down. You see the uh, race guys just getting torn apart by the Axis. Comran really showing uh, that they mean business. They could, they're they going to be a force to be dealt with, a uh, force to be uh, reckoned with, should I say, um, in the playoffs. They're of course going to give themselves a great chance. Finishing top of their group, lots of kills coming in. Flop G's, Fireball, Cresty, everyone picking up frags. As uh, the race team just Again, running in wave after wave. They are going to start picking up some frags of their own. Maybe going to be able to make it into this lower, um, lower ruins area. I'm not sure why the pause has happened here. We see uh, Comran giving that pause, but... No excuses coming out. We might have a, a full pause here. No, it's going to get on pause very, very quickly. So, uh, here comes the rest of this defence. Comran is a race are starting to move towards the main door. I don't think they've got an engineer. Uh, player is taking some some gunfire. Respawn does come in over the Axis players. Presti's going to take on the player here on this 
far side of the map is going to be able to take him down with the help of Fireball. And at the moment, Comrade not looking too uh, bad, not too shabby here on Bremen. Say home map. German team, German map, no? Okay, as a. Uh, See, uh, again, a big spread of kills. It's not like someone's getting some mad, mad uh, sprees every time either. They're, they're all picking up frags. Uh, the, the crossfire is really, really intense. That's fireball there. Picks up a frag on that left hand side. Nice headshot by Flop Jeez. He's not going to be able to finish it off just yet. So he's just going to go quite aggressive, take down player. But again, a race don't seem to be playing with six. So you get that feeling that they're just not really playing together very well at the moment. Uh, they played so well in the uh, in the seeding tournament to finish in the top three. Maybe it's just that position where they 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 know they don't have to play too much harder to to qualify. They have already qualified. You see, uh, you can try and take down Fox Juice here. He is going to take a little bit of gunfire. Fox Juice is going to get taken down. Double kill coming in for Buzzer. And Eugen is going to try moving on that flag. Nice shot from Stray. He's going to be able to shut him down in that upper ruins area. You can see the the, the quick look from from Stray. Is, that was all a call. He got the perfect call. And uh, going to be able to take him down uh, to stop that uh, flag grab from happening. As uh, he nearly gets killed in that respawn. The pushes from the race are uh, starting to gather pace as they're picking up a couple of frags. Double kill coming up the bank. The reply comes in as Blade, Christy, Flop G's all pick up frags and the race are uh, struggling as you see. I think you saw SA push through the door and uh, whether whether the uh, they actually know that he's done that or not, I'm not sure. But it's not going to do much. I don't think it's going to do much for them as uh, the objective will get grabbed and they might be able to just cut it off. You're probably going to see him wait objective taken. to uh, as perfect timing as possible. He's going to be able to get that key card. Cresty may be coming across, going to be able to take him out. He's not going to be able to do that. Nice play from SA. I don't think that secure, does that instantly secure the flag for them? It doesn't. So Axis are still going to have the flag, but it's uh, uh, the ally team have taken control. Axis all over the place after that, docu uh, after that key card drop. And you're going to see a push through the spawn. And uh, this is actually not looking too bad now, for, amazingly, for a race. They're going to set up at that CP area, but they can, of course, do that big six, five, six man push through main, uh, through, the, through the spawn, sorry. Dynamite so, you know, a lot of the Axis players fall back to try and set up that defense. Here comes the big push from a race. Two or three players coming through. Tommy is going to be able to pick up that frag. frag and Van and Tony pick up frags again. Cresty, big double kill, just shut them down. They would have been able to get their truck at that point. And the main plant has gone down, and a race is very strange uh, playstyle. Very strange playstyle. Uh, gonna be able to get that key card, and uh, it's gonna get things done here on uh, on Bremen. It's gonna open it up a little bit for them. It's forced uh, Comrade to fall back. They have set up at the CP, but they have got um, potential of, of, of a spawn push, and we're probably gonna see. Um, SA trying to do that sneak quite often as the tank is going to get built I think um, oh that is the barrier that is the barrier all good all's good as uh, players doing great work with his Sten they have cleared out CP a little bit of rank Tony and, uh, and player pushing towards CP Bozza is ahead of them as well long range shooting coming out from player doesn't hit anything with that Sten that time uh, he needs to he needs to be able to walk past the barrier he is going to get taken down like, walking into a uh, pillar there and uh, there's a comedy of errors here from, from player, but he is going to be able to make it towards that CP and blow it. So they're going to be able to secure that forward spawn, the erase players. And they're going to now mount a huge huge attack. They have actually managed to get the truck. I thought they got it. And uh, this is just all over the place. It'll be really hard to deal with this sort of attack. It's, it seems to be not really a, a great attack, but it's, it's still getting things done. This is unbelievable. Um... I've got no idea how a race have managed to get their hands on this truck. Um, Comrade looked in big con had, had big control as uh, I believe they've already uh, managed to, to, to break through and they're already going to be able to sit around an 8 minute time as long as they can blow this barrier. They haven't managed to put that dynamite down just yet. And Comrade Defense will have to uh, pick themselves up. You know, and, uh, be a bit, a bit frustrated about how things have gone. The plant is going down from SA now. Uh, that's going to take 30 seconds to blow, obviously. 
As uh, Comrade are pushing around the back of the truck. He's maybe moving in for that defuse. And uh, he's going to take a bit of fire. Vank is going to have to pick up that pistol for a crest. He's taken down as well. But the. Uh, the move in for the rifle is going to happen. It's going to get fragged once more. As uh, engineers are all over this, will they be able to pick this up? They have managed to defuse it. Unbelievable from Comran. The double plant's going to come in now. They're going to make they're going to make twice as sure they're going to be able to pick up this uh, this plant. But Comran are pushing in once more for the triple plant. In fact, if they don't, if this doesn't blow now, I've got no idea what's going to plant. I wonder what's going to blow. What? I mean, a triple diffuse would be uh, almost impossible. I don't think I've ever seen a triple diffuse before. As uh, no no build on the back barrier. The uh, truck, bar truck barrier is uh, still up for for uh, for the allies. Still down. Sorry for the allies. Axis are going to try and move in very soon. Triple dynamite just blows up the server basically. As a strike is going to come down from SA, he's going to move in on that truck as well. And it's going to give him a bit of cover as he's going to be able to keep escorting the truck. A cut, quite a few Comrade players um, flanking from behind him. The Allied command post has been blown. Uh, nice work from, uh, I'm not sure who the, the uh, um, Kovey was. It might have been Flock G's there. The player picks up a big triple kill. But the truck is just outside the manor house. It's not too badly placed for the Allies. As uh, they're going to try and move in on CP. SA going to try and secure that forward spawn. He should be able to make it through. As, uh, maybe Flop is going to be able to push up and take him out in the upper CP area. He is actually going to be able to get in that kill. Nice, nice stuff from SA. Secured that forward spawn once again for the Allied team. And he's going to start shooting him in the back. Uh, didn't get too lucky there. Luka Frag from Cresty takes him down. He didn't have much health left, to be honest. As uh, I'm going to see that Allies now run towards that truck. We're going to see how that truck barrier is holding up for the Axis. It hasn't been built up just yet. A race for Axar coming in. Tony picks up a rifle grenade at its backstage. That airstrike might do some damage as well. And I think it, um, a race have managed to clear it out. They should be able to set a time here on Bremen. And it is going to be around about 8 minutes or so. Um, it's not too bad to be honest. Yeah, that first stage looked awful for a long period. Um, or is, or is Bremen a 15 minute map? It could be a 15 minute map. So if it's a 15, it's going to be closer to, to a 10 and a half minutes. We'll see. We'll see for a uh, Comrade are probably hoping that it's 15. I actually honestly can't remember if it's 15 or, or 12. It is a 15, so it's going to be a 10 minutes 42 time. Which, again, isn't that bad considering how it all started. Um, we're going to bring up the scores. And uh, it's going to be 525 for SA, but he did a lot of the, the the annoying sneaks. He did the sneak for key card um, to get the uh, the uh, back spawn open or this area open here. For the truck, I'm, I'm pretty sure he would probably have been involved in that truck build as well. And uh, that did enable his team to set a pretty decent time on things considered like i say they got held off on that first stage for so long fireball though picking up 29 kills and 3.9k damage blade um just behind him 10 damage behind the 3.975 as uh, he picks up 24 frags as well so comrade going to be attacking for the game win and of course if uh if the draw was to come in it'll be a guaranteed second place in the group for uh for a race um, and you wouldn't have to base it on, I don't know, performance um, in the games, which I think probably go in a race's favour anyway. They have set a time against Comran, something that Tim only didn't manage to do. As uh, Push is going to come in um, from from Comran here. They have a bit of control in this lower ruins area. And of course, actually, Tim only did set a time. As well, so. Ignore that, ignore that. And it looks like Comran might be able to pick up this flag on the first big push. Foxy's picking up a load of frags. The, the push coming in for for uh, the, the Comran team just touched the flag, but the Axis are going to reclaim it um, just before the Allies respawned there. So job done for Erase. They have held off this uh, first main push, but um, a lot of a lot of uh, spam going down. A lot of frags again for Comrade, and they should be able to pick up the, the flag this time round to stop the Axis from respawning there. They are going to close in. SA is going to do quite a bit of damage. Frank picks up that double kill, and uh, he might be able to hold on. 
uh, the last three or four seconds. The plant has gone down on main as well, and that is job done for Comrade. They have managed to secure that flag, and uh, we're going to see a race spawn back quite early. We're going to see Cresty pick up that, that Panzer as well. He's waiting for that, that Covey to come through uh, and, and, and blow the door up for him. Fireball needs to get in position. We're going to probably see the Panzer hit this uh, hit this room. Player's going to be in uh, in pieces in, in in a few seconds. As the killouts do come from a race, uh, we're going to see uh, Cresty line this up any moment. Uh, there we go. Cresty's Panzer actually comes up towards SA on the respawn. Um, so they're trying to clear out that keycard area actually. Could actually help them uh, so, you know, bypass that CP defense, is not too much of a problem. Uh, it's generally quite a good option for the allies to just bypass CP and just go for the keycard and uh, try and distract them with some shooting because they're so generally so defensive and deep in, within the CP. You uh, can get a pretty good uh, defense, uh, you can get a pretty good uh, push on towards that keycard. We see, we see Cresty pick up a double kill. I'm going to try and pick up Cresty, who is lethal with that, that Sten. Let's pick up some more damage onto uh, these guys at CP. And, uh, his teammate dies next to him, right as uh, Cresty looks to line another shot up. He is going to be able to take down player. Nice shots by uh, Cresty here. He um, makes it all the way to with his medics and trying to stay alive. The headshot does come out. Another revive comes in, and we're going to see a player taken down again by Cresty. Nice revive play from the allies here. Uh, lots of kills coming in, but the revives are huge. Rank picks up a triple kill. All of those guys are still alive. As a player, big, big triple grenade comes out from SA. That's uh, that's wiped that out. He's like, nope, I'm not having any of this. He's pushed forward and, and got that big triple grenade off in that corner. And that's... Uh, that's that attack shut down by uh, a race. We have another seven minutes to defend to try and uh, take their a uh, map win here on uh, on Bremen. As the Axis team are pushing across the top once more, as Flockgees gets off that rifle grenade shot towards Vank, they're going to go for the same tactic. It looks like a uh, nice headshot from from Presti there. Couldn't really see much as uh, he does pick up that kill onto player. I'm going to see uh, what player can do from his point of view. He has Cresty to do with. He is going to put on quite a bit of damage towards him. And he's going to be able to take him down. That's that revenge kill. He was taken down a few times by Cresty's Sten already. So uh, a race not doing too bad a job, to be honest. He could easily defend and, and win this map. And uh, a, a sigh of relief, I think, for, uh, for, the, like I say, for the admins. As the Panzer comes across the map, player is taken down in that doorway at CP. Uh, SA is going to be able to pick up a couple of um, long range pistol frags. As uh, Conman mounting their next attack, they are splitting off a little bit. We see a couple of guys wanting to go CP and a couple of guys wanting to go towards Keycard. I think if they put a big, big push on towards Keycard and maybe one guy covered that CP with like the rifle or the Panzer, um, we'd probably see uh, a Keycard grab. Because uh, they do seem very light at that CP area as we see the pattern to come out once more. Blade can be able to take down Vank in that doorway. And here comes the big push from Comran on towards that CP area. Cresty is going to be able to pick up a kill and it is all cleared out. They need that Kovi to get into position. They're going to be able to push towards that key card as well. Double kill comes out from Stonehenge. He's going to be able to pick up that objective. And he has Fireball and Cresty in position to just sort of help him get there. He's going to go around the long way because of that artillery placement. As uh, Cresty's gonna get uh, destroyed by that. Allies have destroyed the CP and it has been rebuilt, so lots of objectives getting uh, completed by allies. The plant is gonna go down as well, so just the truck to come. Five minutes remaining for a race in this group stage. Let's see if they can hold on. It's not gonna happen. Stray's gonna be able to push into the back of this truck area and they're gonna be able to build the truck and get away as well. That dynamite is gonna blow in about 15 seconds. And the racer on the chase, trying to um, slow down the uh, Comrade team, but they're in full control at the moment. Cresty still in position, just moving this truck forward. I think he was uh, just prone by the truck. As you see, the barrier does get destroyed, can get repaired here, can get rebuilt up. As uh, we've seen a lot of charge getting put into it, the truck just moves past them. 
makes that all that charge put into that barrier um, useless. Straight is going to pick up a double kill to clear out the truck stage, and the truck is going to move on. Unless this last truck barrier is built up by the uh, by the allies, it's going to be GG. It's definitely going to be a four to zero victory here on here on Bremen and uh, radar for uh, Comran as uh, Panzer does come out from from Stray takes down one on that barrier build if they have put in quite a bit of charge but I can't see any other engineers in position Tony does get off that rifle grenade but the truck is going to move on past the barrier as uh, Tony tries to get in one frag he does manage it the, the truck isn't past the barrier just yet and that's it job done and this is going to be a 4 to 0 victory for Comran. Well deserved. They played very well in this group stage. That, that time against um, time against Tim OE on the supply was pretty amazing. And uh, their performance. And, and also the, the uh, save by Fireball. He did manage to get the uh, documents home to save on, on Adler Nest as well. So, been a very good game here, here in this game as well. Um, a race against uh, Tim OE was strong. Uh, especially Gold Rush, that was good fun. So we're going to bring out the scores. This is the last game of the Group A group stage. And uh, we see 38 frags for player. I think Fireball had the, the top frags for his team, but he's already disconnected. 6.1k damage coming out for, for Christy, so... It's very very even stuff. I think we missing missing Fireball, who probably got about 5k, 6k damage himself. So it was very even.